Well, howdy. Amateur artist Mark D. Channel here once again for Manland. Hey, if y'all saw that, what I call the cotton ball and piece of fat wood, kind of like a matchstick, if you like that idea, maybe you'd like this in here. Just another little idea I come up with. Yeah, you can tell I'm bored. This here is one of those magnesium blocks and has the ferro rod. And hopefully if you can see that, it's really, really worn down. I got this thing from Donnie Pavolini Outdoors. He sent it to me. So I've been carrying this thing to work with me and just playing with it left and right. Using it to start fires here and there and luckily I ain't burnt nothing down yet. Well now the idea behind these here magnesium blocks is for you to take your knife and scrape a little bit into the tinder or whatever it is you're trying to ignite. Then turn around, take the ferro rod and make the strike. This lights it up and it does work. It works really well. But I got to thinking, you know, I've seen videos here on YouTube when guys and gals are out there trying to get a little bird's nest together or whatever they try to prepare. And they're just striking and striking and striking away. And sometimes it takes an awful lot of strikes to light what it is you're trying to ignite. Well, you can see, hopefully, that I've really worn the, the ferro rod part down pretty good. Well, it seemed, I got to think, I said, there's got to be an easier way to conserve that rod. I mean, unless you're out there just lighting fires left and right like I do, there's really no need to wear the thing down. As long as what you have prepared is actually going to catch on fire, you just need to convert this to an actual flame. That's the whole point. The key, as you will. So I got to thinking again. Everybody knows that cotton balls are very flammable. It doesn't take much to ignite one of these puppies. I'll show you what I mean. Here we're going to take our cotton ball just fluff the end up real good. Make it kind of wide so that the spark goes in here. This is kind of like the catcher's mitt. And the fluffier it is, the easier it's going to catch that flame. Here's the rod I'm talking about. Just going to scrape it, usually within one strike. Well, there we go. Three strikes on that one. And it lights right up. But now I got to thinking, and you know what happens when I think. I said, why not take the cotton ball, instead of trying to strike into it, place it on the knife itself, and thread the cotton ball through. Sort of like that right there. What we now have is a match place the cotton ball with the sharp side of the knife down and rub it across that ferro rod until we feel it grind and crunch. It's cut through the cotton. That's where all the sparks are actually being concentrated. And then one strike, we now have a match that we can place into the tender we're trying to ignite. I ain't seen that on YouTube nowhere else. And this don't even have Vaseline on it yet. Hey, I'm at home now. And I decided I'm going to give two shout outs for two people on two separate channels. Because if you like fire starting techniques, you'll want to check these people here out. They've got two brand new fire starting techniques that I personally have not seen yet. So they're brand new to me. Maybe you've already seen them. If not, check it out. It's cool. The first one is... Boggy Creek Beast takes cotton, a little bit of uh, ash, puts it in the cotton, rolls it up between two pieces of board, and guess what? Makes an ember. That freaks me out. Never seen it before. The second shout out happens to go to, let me read it, Far North 
bushcraft and survival. Those two links are going to be in the bottom. Now, far north bushcraft takes a piece of chaga, if I believe, on a piece of wood, whatever it is, kind of a triangle shape, rubs this thing. It is a cordless friction fire. That is also very impressive. Y'all check that one out. So now we've got two other techniques out there starting these fires. Because there's one thing about me here at Manland, old amateur artist Mar D. Chandler. I happen to like starting fires. I used to be a firefighter for over 14 years. Learned how to put them out, but never really learned how to make one. And until next time, this is amateur artist Mar D. Chandler, along with the blue M&M, wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience. Anyway, this is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler wishing you and y'all a very happy YouTube experience out there. And I'd like for y'all to play around with this idea. Maybe we can do this with other natural materials that we can find out there in the sticks. Instead of just cotton ball. But if you got a cotton ball, why not use it?